who has an idea on how we could begin to cut costs? Bruce! I wasn't raising my hand. It's okay. There's no bad ideas. We're just spitballing. Just whatever's in your mind, whatever's on, you know, just please, just someone say a bad idea just, just to get the ball rolling. I would love to hear a bad idea. Get the ball rolling. To do something that starts an activity or to start doing something in order to encourage other people to do the same. Another example. Wow, well, look at you. You did pretty well. $8.27. But not really, because I put in the first two. <laughs> Just to, you know, get the ball rolling and to make myself feel better. I was on my way to the sisterhood meeting, and I just wanted to grab you for a second. Good to see you. I want to bend your ear about this whole bar mitzvah thing. Bend someone's ear. To talk to someone for a long time, especially about a problem, or to ask for something. Informal. Another example. Freddie and I work together. Can I bend your ear a minute? Spit it out, Freddy. We're gonna need another box of brassiers. That's great. Wow. How are you feeling? Yeah, much, much better. Better? You look yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah, good. You were a little green around the gills. <laughs> I apologize. Not at all. No need. Be green around the gills. To look ill, nervous, or frightened. Looking or feeling unwell. Another example. Well, I'm uh, Howard Stark. Hi. <laughs> Shake that. Don't pull it. Yeah. You look a little green around the gills there, uh, Potts. Oh, fine. Just one hour. You want to get some air? So Kathy was giving me sass, saying, Marty, I gave you the purchase orders to sign. Give someone sass. To be disrespectful or talk to someone in a rude way. Another example. You know what? Your whole company should be taken to the woodshed. First Campbell gives me the sass. And Sterling, he didn't even show up. And you, my friend, you're gonna be working for him. Yeah, because it saves on wear and tear. Because you can charge more. Listen. No, you listen. I didn't have to put up with this nonsense when your father was in charge. I'm just trying to do what's best. 34 years I've been coming here. To put up with. To accept or continue to accept an unpleasant situation or experience. Another example. See, you guys are seriously considering this? Yes. And you think you can put up with Sheldon? Well, I'm a Hindu. <laughs> My religion teaches that if we suffer in this life, we are rewarded in the next. Marty is a nice guy. In fact, he's too nice. But I don't suffer from that particular affliction, oh. and I will not let you exploit him. What are you, his guard dog? Worse. I'm his sister. To exploit. To use someone or something unfairly for your own advantage. Another example. Yeah, I'm pregnant. Great. Well, I'll write up the order. Wait a minute. OK, thanks. You can't do that. You cannot exploit your baby for sales. Hey, did I tell you we're gonna have a baby? Definitely. No, no. You need to come by your sales honorably. There is nothing mm -hmm. dishonorable about talking about your life. People like it. All the idioms, expressions, and phrasal verbs explained on our channel. All the most useful and popular gathered in one place. Check out our PDF materials for comfortable study. Print versions available as well. Links in the description below. So you spent your entire life pleasing everyone else because you couldn't please your father? Maybe. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Oof, you're really, really perceptive. Perceptive. Able to notice and understand things that many other people do not notice. Another example. Bri is very beautiful and very classy, but she's not very perceptive. For instance, she thinks you're a good person 
and it's now very clear to me, you aren't. Sorry, Marty. You know, I said last time would be the last time. It's fine. We need to get you sorted, and, and that's what we'll do. Get you sorted. To take care of your troubles, especially emotional one. Another example. If anything turns up that says otherwise, I'll let you know. But in the meantime, get in touch with your claims adjuster, and they'll get you sorted out, okay? Okay. Alrighty, take care. Why can't you go? Look, I don't want to talk to some stranger He's about... not a stranger. Rabbi Goldberg recommended him. No. No, no. Okay. No tickling. Or okay, okay girls, girls, knock it off. Leave your Uncle Marty alone. Come on. Knock it off. Used to tell someone to stop doing something, especially something that annoys you. Another example. I just think it's weird, you know? Heckles and me. Heckles and me. Me. Me and Heckles. Hey, would you knock it off? <laughs> you can't solve mother issues in a few hours. But this time we rolled up our sleeves, figured it out, and now the result's gonna be on Broadway. It sounds like you saved the day. Yeah, it kinda did. <laughs> Save the day. To make a bad situation end successfully. To solve a big problem for someone. Another example. I can't believe you pulled this all together overnight. I, if I had more time, I could have gotten the Blue Man Group. You really saved the day. Well, it's not for you. It's for Hallie. And I'm sure she'd appreciate it if she knew what's going on or who you are. Someone say a bad idea just, just to get the ball rolling. I want to bend your ear about this whole... Yeah, you're a little green around the gills. <laughs> so Kathy was giving me sass, saying... I didn't have to put up with this nonsense when your father was in charge. It sounds like you saved the day. 